Chris, uh, you, you opened up the scoring, um, two strikes, two outs. You're, you're leading the team in, in uh, two strike hitting, or two out hitting runners in scoring position this year. What what kind of gives you the kind of mental toughness out there to, to come through in those kind of situations? Well, you know, in those situations, you kind of step out of the box and you know take a deep breath. And I mean, I don't just try to put the ball back up the middle where it came from. I'm not trying to do too much. And um, you know, I think me just being able to step out of the box and calm myself down, calm my nerves down. You know, I mean, fortunately for me, my teammates were able to get on base, put pressure on the pitcher, they would throw a lot of pitches, so I was comfortable in the box. But you know, I just felt like just putting it back up the middle, I'd be able to do the job. And, and the ball got through and we got to run. Yeah, what's the approach against uh, a guy like Robert Tyler, who's you know projected top 20, 25 picks in, in the draft? I mean, just get that front foot down and you know keep your swing short. Uh, like I said earlier, you, know, you can't try to go up there and do too much. You can't be swinging harder, you know. Just got your approach, you got to be up the middle and, you know, square up a few balls. Just Great. in general, how big it was it just to get back and set the tone for the weekend after Wednesday? Well, Wednesday, we didn't just, I mean, after after the Wednesday night's game, you know, it was good for us to, you know, come out here with some heightened awareness and fire. Um, playing an SEC matchup, you know, there's no easy game in the SEC. But being able to, you know, come out scoring right away and, you know, Clark pitched a heck of a game. Um, you know, being able to do that and set the tone for the weekend too for us. Chris, I'm sorry if you've already been asked this, but what, what did you see from Clark? You had a pretty good view for him all night. You know, everything was working today. And he was confident throwing everything. Um, you know, he was spotting up. His, his stuff was you know, moving like crazy, and that's all we could ask for him is, like, compete his butt off, and that's exactly what he did. You know, at this point in the season, is there anything that he does that surprises you? Not at all. I don't know. I mean, yeah, we, we all have confidence in him coming out here every day and you know, competing. Um, and he's going to give us everything he's got every single time he's on the mound and, and everything. Everyone's just supporting him, and you know we're going to ride with him as far as he takes us. Is it different catching a complete game, and what, what's that like? And is this one of the ones you'll remember for a while? Uh, well, catching a complete game is tough on the body, but I mean, when you're playing in the SEC and you're competing with these guys, um, you know you really you really don't think about it too much. But um, you know, I, I don't really think about you know how it wears down my body. I'll feel it in the morning, but um, I'll be ready to go for the following days. How much did this team need this after the way Wednesday night went? No, they need Clark's outing in, in particular. Yeah. No, it was huge for us. Um, I feel like you know we maybe didn't play with. As much fire Wednesday, but we came out. We came out here um, right out of the gate, and you know, set the tone for the weekend, like we said earlier. And I mean, that's just huge for us, like continuing the season as well. You're a Georgia boy, not too far from here. Does this have any extra meaning for you, or not really? Uh, I mean, it's good to come back here, come back home, you know, play against some guys you grew up playing with. But um, I really don't try to think too much about it. Um, you know, it's just another SEC matchup. We got to come out and hey, they don't try to get a win. I got four times. <laughs> How'd you let LT make the play? <laughs>